Good morning. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has made. I am ready to finish planting my garden this morning, except for the four rows of corn that I'm going to wait for a couple more weeks. If you haven't seen my video about how to plant corn and why I am waiting, go look up my video about how to plant corn. Come on in closer. I want you to see what I've prepared before I go out into the garden. All I have needs, I have not provided. You see here a variety of squash and cucumbers. The reason I'm doing that is I want to test and see which ones do the best for me. I've had a whole lot of problems in the past with disease, and so I really want to stay on top of it this year and find a resistant variety as well as being consistent with putting fungicide onto the plants. Now today I'm using the fungicide and mixing it in water even before they start growing. I'm going to prepare the ground that they're going in so after I use a lot of this uh, worm compost, worm poop, worm castings, whatever you want to call it. That's going to enrich the soil and get them off to a great start. But then I'm going to follow up with some watering. You see here my garden plans. Not only am I going to have them marked this way, but I'm going to write in the margins of my garden planner what varieties are going in which beds. So I may use this spot down here to just put maybe some numbers here in the zucchini and the squash uh, and the cucumbers here and I may put those what those numbers mean down here. I have two different garden grids for you to print out for free. Just go to the description below, click the link, and it'll take you right to the page that will give you two different garden grids for your very own. So there's my garden out there waiting for us. See you there. This is where I'm going to have cucumbers and zucchini squash. And what I've done is taken this handy little tool and stirred up the dirt to get rid of any weeds that have come up so far. And the next stage is to lay out the worm castings down the entire length of this bed.
So why did I plant them in circles? And why did I call them a hill when it doesn't look like they're hills? I'll explain all of that in the next video when you see what they look like at just three weeks old. It's gonna make sense. Now you can plant those seeds in a line if you want. The seeds don't care. But what I want you to do is prepare that bed first. So let's go over the things that I show you in this video. If you want to have a bed that's ready for your vegetable seeds to grow quickly and very healthy, you need to prepare your bed. And I showed you how to do that in a video called How to Turn Your Vegetable Garden into a Vegetable Jungle. Look it up. It's good. <laughs> so plant your seeds about a half inch, no more than an inch deep. Those seeds are a bit on the small side and you don't want to bury them too deep. After you plant them, be sure to water them in. That's a really important step. Now keep your seeds damp, but not soaking wet. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Don't forget those free garden grids to print. Click the link below. Yeah.